here we are back again. The play's the thing. Something, something. Broken dreams and electrical companies. Oh, I can move. Should it? No. No. It can't be. Is there a faster way? I'm, I'm like scrolling... Oh, is that, is that Lula? Oh, student production is outdacious? You have the right to lie, said Travitas. I did not know, Todd. Not about the heart of the matter. Playwright Lem Doolittle seems. Hmm. For reckoning? Is that what we're playing? Mysterious disappearance. I was going to look around and get annoyed because there's one person in the audience who's just completely turned around in their chair and is just staring. At a ghost? I don't even know if someone's saying that. This would be great for VR. I assume I'm missing crucial plot developments behind me. Change the title of play. So it's not even. <laughs> is that. Is that me? No, I have dignity. Oh no. Is this like a, what's it called, pseudo-director's commentary? Oh boy. I'm worried. Did I... Um, we'll try it. <laughs> this entire video clip is just going, just going to be me bewildered, slowly rotating around in my chair for 15 minutes. Are we actually going to get subtitles or? Don't 
Doesn't look like it. I'm gonna feel really bad if I'm missing crucial stuff because I turned it down too much or something. Oh? Sorry, the light changed. I thought maybe someone was gonna go through that door. Just Lula. Can I like wave at her? Ooh, she looks familiar too. I think. Where's the fan? Well, the director's commentary is over. That was the same thing I was saying before. I wonder if they just wait out you reading them through. Does So maybe, I guess my hope is, I read through all this, whatever's happening on the stage is sort of on hold until I rotate back around. I think so. Didn't she say, she said that very first line before, I think. times isn't hard times the name of uh, the department the department of reclaimed spaces one of their projects was making a, a graveyard that used to be a distillery into a distillery Just actors in a play. Sandwiches? What? <laughs> this is just a simulation of, of some annoying guy next to you at a play just looking up. What is Rain's Law? Oh, it's the New York State Liquor Tax Law of 1896. We're in Kentucky. But I suppose that became a generic term. Yeah, raised costs of liquor licenses. Drinking age. Can't sell alcoholic beverages on Sundays except in hotels or lodging houses with at least 10 rooms that serve drinks with complimentary meals. Rain's... Oh, okay, so this is it. Rain's sandwiches. The meal requirement was met by the cheapest sandwich available, sometimes reused across tables, or sandwiches made of rubber. Saloon keepers who mocked the law by setting out brick sandwiches, two pieces of bread with a brick in between, thus fulfilling the legal requirement of serving food. He also writes of an altercation in the saloon where a customer attempted to eat a sandwich that the bartender had served just for show. The police restored the sandwich to the bartender and made no arrests. Amazing. Now I feel better about that sandwich. Now that I know what it is. You mean Lula? Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Imagine the it's like a Borgesian thing. The play only happens things only exist so long as I'm there to remember them or observe them. Otherwise they go on pause until I once again return. Oh man, it's getting I can't tell if it's getting darker. Oh Lula, please save me from this play. If I if things are on hold, if I stay on Lula for more than five seconds, one, two, three. Okay, so she's just hanging out. I really have to swipe to move. Hey guys. Oh, I haven't even looked down. Oh. I've been hiding half the world's content from myself. Yeah, I really do be just rotating, huh? Oh, color shift. Can I see myself? Nope, that's the end of it. Okay. <sighs> Frustrating. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, this is the thing that I stopped listening to. Yeah. Relationship. The living script. I like that. Combining plays. I've heard of that before. A couple times. Sometimes I think about trying to keep Latin in by translating stuff. Like, plays would be relatively shorter, but the problem is I've never seen a Roman play that didn't... S uh, that I didn't have the cultural context sufficient to enjoy it. Like the stuff, the stuff that survived by like uh, what's his name, Terence. It's just like even then it was just wrote, just uh, what do you even call it? stock plots. The plots were just an excuse to stuff in jokes, and uh, I don't think the jokes really carry over a thousand years. The only ancient joke I know is like the oldest known one is a fart joke from in Mesopotamia or Babylonia or perhaps I can't remember quite where. I remember reading. You can get these plays, or at the time, you can purchase the scripts of these plays physically. Which I kind of like the idea of. I don't know what the covers look like, but if they feel right, that would be a nice little object to have. Junebug. I know who that is. I think we'll meet her in uh, the next act. Oh. 
Okay. Oh. Lula, what do you make of all this? Lula, I know we've been a little combative in the past, but... She has nothing to say. The pantsuit plus her hair... She reminds me of... My maternal grandmother. I really hope I'm not. I'll tell you, my greatest fear is that I. Wait, what? Is this. Did I miss it, or is that a new thing that I didn't see before? Okay. Did I just miss it? Hmm. You have to look at specific objects in order to move time forward in the play. Maybe. Uh, well, I mean. I guess, like, if this was a film, a transition shot would be something like camera drifting idly past the, the name of the bar. There's a fan. In Kentucky, you would want, like, 15 fans. One for each chair. So, since Carrington was quoted as discussing this play does this mean this isn't actually his entertainment and it's actually like something he's watching because then yeah because they name other people like wakefield and it's a student theater not carrington I honestly thought it was Carrington's play, but this doesn't even look like random access storage. This feels like this is the literal hard time saloon, and they just added a bunch of chairs and put in a play about the hard time saloon. Sarah Wakefield's performance. Pearl Slade. That's a superhero name. That's a little rough. This guy in the cowboy hat, his hand looks messed up. And I know it's just, it's vectors, so I'm not seeing it right. But his hand and arm are just contorted. Ooh. have to. Yeah, 
just a bar. <laughs> wow. It's so mean. I hate riddles. Oh, Lula. Lula, I feel like we would get along for half an hour and then you would just say something and I would just like shut down because the alternative would be having an unpleasant night at you wordfully. Is this like a jukebox but for stage setting? Because that'd be kind of cool. Okay, I'm gonna... Wait, what? Hold on. I'm gonna have to remember to fix the volume mixer. The next thing. Okay, that makes me feel better. Even at near max volume, this is still on, still incredibly quiet. that bartenders usually drink on the job. Isn't it considered a problem? weird. Oh. Lula. I guess it's not Lula because they said the name of the actress. And Lula Chamberlain hates this play. This is, is this like the, like the original run was by that student theater and then this is Carrington's and somehow he's gotten Lula to play that role?
I would have thought the pawn shop would do well on Sunday. Not profit wise necessarily, but all I know about pawn shops is the idea of pawning your Sunday best. So you have money for the week. Get your income. Purchase it back for Sunday. Because you don't need your Sunday best for anything else. And money is tight, so... It's a... Collateral for the loan, I suppose. But he doesn't remember any of it. What if I look down, there's a heckle button. What if that's Conway's model? That's Shannon. They have face blindness, but for computer characters. And these guys don't even have faces. He doesn't go anywhere. He just stays in this pub. Total recall. What? <laughs> He was the one that said it. Oh, I went to New Orleans. Oh, how was New Orleans? I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, isn't that weird? No, how dare you? Break your parents' hearts?
Oh no. But you're in charge of the bar. If you're in charge of the bar, you you decide. Were you gonna call in the debt like today? To fund another trip to New Orleans? Right. And it is predatory, yes. But that's the long and short of it right there. Oh, I don't... Hmm. I feel like most states... Well, I don't know. I think... I think there are laws against that in a couple of states anyway. Precisely because... People borrow money and then... They owe more on payday than even before. Something ethical, like banks. Oh, there's more people. I didn't even notice. And oh, she stands.
Is that Dr. Truman? I think I think these might be character models being used. Does that mean that she's gonna be a person? With her Wrangler jeans? Stiffly written, but well acted. <sighs> okay, so it is, okay, so it is Carrington. Okay. I think I was overthinking it. It's just a bunch of names I don't know. Hmm. He needs to lie about vacations and I don't think he leaves the bar ever. Do you think if you look in the wrong direction for long enough, the game, like, someone taps you on the shoulders and say, says, Hey, idiot, the stage is this way. Dramaturg? Drama should it be dramaturges? Besides making a different play. Yeah. I wonder who the barfly is, or is or am I it? Hey, Joseph Wheatree. Just a, a group of, of friends, and they all are just. I don't know, like Lula's sniping at Carrington stuff. kind of how I lean in bed when I'm like watching a, a movie on the computer and stuff like that just everything on my right elbow and it has damaged me okay, supermarket till I do love the story of a patron trying to eat a sandwich he ostensibly paid for and the police going, yeah, no. I'm glad I do feel a lot better that I'm not necessarily or I mean I might be tricked but so far it seems like you can't miss anything there's there's non-essential stuff like behind you and then there's the play and the play doesn't move on and the side stuff doesn't move on until you've looked at it all
two promotions and a funeral. I've only been in one or two productions. I was a background character, so I guess it didn't really matter much, but having to be alert and just wait was the most unpleasant part for me. Even more than remembering lines or being looked at by people. What are you digging for? I should have. Okay, I should have looked at this with the people at the table. Oof. Still, the meanest thing that ever happened to me was doing a play. We were background players. We were supposed to be pretending to talk. But uh, we were actually talking, because this is high school. And I sought to interject just one thing, and one of them turned around and said, Hey, we're supposed to be just mouthing here. And then went right back to talking with everyone else. Just mean for no reason. i have never talked with him ever in my life. I've missed something. There we go. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm a play patron with, with a broken neck, a neck brace. So it takes me 15 minutes to go look at the next part of the stage. So, okay. <laughs> please don't spend money, but please don't make me have to tell you. <laughs> please. Oh. Don't. You gotta give me some sign. Give me some stage directions. I'm gonna find at the last second I should be like clicking right button and it would zoom out so I could see the whole thing better. Dude, you you said that in the ridiculous thing. You can't blame other people for being like, what are you talking about? What? Oh. In New Orleans? I guess. Like, not in this city, though, surely. Some people talk about alcohol. I almost wish I liked it. It sounds like a whole activity. I 
wonder if it's particularly American things that have a streak of apocalypticism in them and it spreads out from there. Or if it's far more widespread. I mean, I know it's widespread, but... I could believe someone saying there will be a reckoning if they said it to me on the street here. Whereas if someone said that to me in Geneva, I would be like, okay, go get in your bomb shelter. weird how the play had weird awkward pauses between actors saying their lines almost as though they needed to wait for someone to turn a winch to rotate their neck 10 degrees Of, of the lady at the bar? Am I the owl? Oh shoot! I knew I was the bar fly! table is itchy. I've missed so many of my prompts, they're gonna fire me. I didn't, okay, hold on, I should, I could have sworn, I've looked down before, didn't I? Am I insane? I might be. I've missed a lot. Or, oh, did something happen up here? And I just missed it? Oh, jeez Louise. I'm an actor in this production and I don't even know what I'm doing. How does one mime out remembering a past or future thunderstorm? Why does the barfly have no ass? Or neck? Interesting effect. <laughs> it was weird. It was weird how the barfly spent half of the half of the play looking back at us beseechingly. Begging us to explain what the hell is going on. Okay, well, hopefully that's all my lines. 
Because it's an effort to look. Oh god. Harry's glaring at me. I better get back to it. Hmm. I hope it's not graveyard bones. They aren't sure confident that their daughter is going to pay for their booze. That's a weird feeling relationship. Yeah, Harry and I, we're both looking askance at the situ. I bet the the Animal Crossing mumble speak. If I had better ears, it would direct me to who is speaking what, and that's why that's how I would know to awkwardly scroll my mouse 15 times to look over here. It's a family value that our daughter pays for everything for us. So that's Evelyn. Yep. Okay. I can't tell if I just am bad or if these are actually directional sounds. She's busy. She's helping a broken-legged old man and his dog Homer. How is it a promotion? What promotion? It's my time to shine. Everyone wants to see me pick my nose while I remember my childhood best friend. What? Oh. Oh, hey. I do actually have more to say. Nice. Lula's gone. I feel like that's something someone said about Kentucky Route Zero. Interesting. 
<laughs> Five out of seven. Forty-seven out of sixty-two. What is the best bar in fiction? I think about Spider Robinson's bar. That was like overtly a therapy bar. Hmm. <laughs> Good. I also like the idea of like someone in the audience coughs and just a, an actor on stage breaks off and just aggressively coughs back in their direction. Ooh, a disconcerting hum this time. I guess she wasn't anywhere. She was just a voice. Oh, come on. This sometimes. <laughs> no, no. You have to. You have to sacrifice all your money, your life, your possessions. <laughs> I don't I don't want any parasites or paying for anyone. Okay, buy me a drink. Well that's just a nickel. We're up to a quarter, depending on the jukebox. supposed to be a celebration. You're supposed to pay for us.
<laughs> hey, Pearl, that, that's a weird thing to say. That's rough. Baby event? That's a no. Oh. Sweetie, that's a no. I was in a job where someone said conceivably I could get a permanent position. Technically it had happened before. That's rough. But you're the ones that said it was. You're just like Harry over there, hallucinating about New Orleans and then getting huffy when when someone says Hey, you said two incompatible things. I just want to understand. Okay, so June bug. Okay, so that was a jukebox, not a June bug. <laughs> Don't be a fool. Sorry, I have some, I think I have some miming I have to do. Hmm. Landmarks? never surrender. I don't know. It's just a thing that I only feel at weird times. and it, In real life, it's absolutely not healthy. But the conception of just sitting in a corner and being absolutely satisfied with just smoking a cigarette, some alcohol that you actually like, apparently, and that's just entertainment for you maybe a newspaper sans context of how unhealthy two of those three things are it's like almost a zen feeling the conception of it I don't know what that is it's just a weird fantasy because I hate all of that stuff Maybe you two should get together, go to California. Take Harry with you.
No, that sounds like depression. Sounds like it's a good time to walk out of this bar if the bartender slips a hand under the counter and says there will be a reckoning. Ramblers. The fictional versions of them, anyway. Hi. What is he looking for in there? There are no props. You can't make a deal with the Hard Times Whiskey Company. Oh. They've loan sharked you. our stance. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't even say bye to her pants though? That's rough. Like emotionally for her, I imagine. They're both looking at where she left. Oh man, that is just rough. <sighs> Maybe eventually. That's that's insulting. It's maybe eventually to someone. Is this like a, the devil's going to come at midnight and take my soul's payment for my whiskey sort of deal? 
So get out, or else he'll take all y'all with him. Good for it. No, you're not. I don't think he understands how unreassuring hearing someone say that is. Sinister. That doesn't matter. You can sell debt. Yeah. says, oh shit, I need to get out of here and run to the exit. entertainment. I apologize because I imagine I wasn't the best person to sit next to metaphorically while trying to watch a play. I don't know. It's just a it's a very interesting play. It's very nice to be able to see it there. It would be very good for your ER. I just know that if, it, if this were a real play, I would probably have trouble sitting through it. You gotta get to the, there's debt in the whiskey faster. That's not an indictment of the play. The play is fine, I'm sure. It's just an indictment of me. Anyway. Uh, next time, Act 3. <laughs> no one will ever want to watch a play with me again. <laughs>